right, well, it is 11, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And if other people jump on, they jump on. Um, we're gonna begin in a child's pose. Uh, I don't know if you have some pillows or bolsters or towels, something handy to, um, to make it a supported child's pose. We'll um, do more of a yin practice this morning. We're gonna take it slow and hold some poses for a few minutes, but also be active. Um, so grab your props, however you can support yourself throughout the practice so you can settle in for a while, okay? And it might be nice to take a few cleansing breaths, you know, before settling into this child's pose. Find some organic stretches. <clears throat> sort of sending your attention in. Notice how you're feeling this morning. Notice if you feel stuck in certain spaces and maybe sending your breath to those spots as you settle in to find stillness. And just taking note of how your breath feels as it moves through your body throughout this morning's practice. I encourage you to really be mindful of how your breath functions along with your body, how your breath supports you throughout your practice and how it feels inside of your body. Um, so you are connected to the ground, your back is open toward the sky, notice how your breath moves through your body, how your back rises toward the sky as your belly fills with air, your lungs fill with air. And notice how everything starts to contract as you exhale. Notice the rhythm of your breath. We'll spend another minute in this child's pose. Beginning to deepen your breath. Come to lie completely flat on your mat, on your belly, legs extended behind you, hands under your shoulders. Find a few natural back bends here, maybe pressing against the ground, rising your chest, sort of a baby cobra action up and down a few times, just starting to warm up your back, warm up your spine. 
and we'll prepare for a half frog. So find a deep bend in your right leg and bring your right knee up to the side of your mat. You might place a pillow under your knee or a rolled up blanket. And it might be nice to lean into a twist here. So placing your right cheek down, notice how that twist feels in your spine. And again, we'll be here for a few minutes. Deep breaths. you haven't already, go ahead and turn so your left cheek is touching your mat. About 10 more breaths here. Beginning to deepen your breath as you straighten your right leg. <clears throat> Prepare for some more of that baby cobra action. Hands under your shoulders. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, touch your mat, but sort of move with your breath. You might pick up the pace a little. And you might stay chest raised, heart open. Maybe arms are straight and an upward facing dog for three breaths. And with an exhale, return down to your mat, bend both knees and sort of windshield wiper your feet from side to side a few times. And we'll go ahead and settle into a half frog with your left knee bent. Left cheek touches down, leaning into this twist only if it feels right in your spine, in your back, in your shoulders. Deep breaths as you turn your right cheek down.
about another minute on this side. Deep breaths. With an exhale, go ahead and straighten your left leg. Find a baby cobra, move with your breath. Pick up the pace of your breath and notice how your body feels connected to the, to the speed of your breath. As you inhale, rise up, exhale, relax into your mat. When you're ready to settle into a cobra or an upward facing dog for three breaths, With an exhale, relax into your mat. Tabletop on your hands and knees, knees, hips width, hands directly under your shoulders. Go ahead and jump into your cat cow practice. Inhale to cow pose, sinking your belly low, sending your breath to your belly, looking up toward the sky. Exhale, round spine, tuck your chin and your pelvis, push the floor away. Again, connecting your movement to your breath, move at your own pace. Finding some organic movement in this cat-cow practice, maybe rocking back and forth or side to side, rolling your hips and your shoulders in one direction and then the other taking moments to lean into the spots that feel like they need some extra attention this morning. We'll spend another five breaths moving through your cat-cow practice. When you're ready to find stillness, landing in a neutral tabletop. Finding stillness here. With an exhale, extend your right leg behind you, toes curled, toes touching your mat. With an exhale, lean into your heel. With an inhale, pull back. Exhale, lean into your heel. Inhale, pull back. Last time, exhale, lean into your heel. And with your inhale, go ahead and rise or raise your left or your right leg, excuse me. Your right foot is flexed and point and flex a few times before finding stillness there. Now you might stay here for five breaths or maybe you find some movement connecting your right knee, sending it towards your shoulder your shoulders stacked over your wrist, your belly button, pull it in towards your spine. Finding stillness with your right leg raised. Engaging your glute muscles here. For another three breaths. Beautiful. Exhale, return your right knee down and find some movement here. Maybe a few cat cows or moving through a child's pose. Eventually, we'll meet in a tabletop, finding stillness. 
Extend your left leg behind you, toes curled, touching your mat. Exhale, lean into your left heel. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, lean into your heel. Inhale. Exhale, lean. Inhale, raise your left leg. Point and flex your foot a few times. Again, finding stillness here for the next five breaths or connect your knee to your shoulder. Finding stillness with your left leg raised. Notice how your muscles feel, your core muscles are engaged, your glutes engaged. Raise your left leg toward the sky for these last three breaths. Beautiful, exhale, tabletop. We'll settle into a child's pose just for a moment. And we'll meet in a downward facing dog from here. Downward facing dog. <clears throat> Take a few breaths to move through this down dog, pedal out your heels. However you like to warm up in your down dog. We'll go ahead and find stillness. With an inhale, raise your right leg toward the sky. Connecting your knee to your nose. Do this three times, move with your breath. Exhale your knee to your nose. Inhale to extend your right leg. And we'll land in a high lunge. Once in your lunge, check the foundation. Your right knee is aligned over your ankle, hips facing forward, your back heel is raised. Decide where you want your hands. Again, there is opportunity to add some more heat in this pose, maybe Pulsing in this lunge, lower your right, your left knee down to your mat. Finding stillness if you were pulsing. Everyone, three cleansing breaths in through your nose and out of your mouth. And with that third exhale, we'll stand at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach both hands over your head, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to chair pose. Backing your weight into your heels, raising your heart. Three more breaths in this chair pose. Exhale, stand tall, forward fold. We'll spend about 10 breaths in this standing forward fold. You might uh, build the ground up for support with blocks or a bolster. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Take time to check in with your neck. Shake your head, yes and no. Maybe rub 
along the back of your neck, finding some gentle self-massage this morning, maybe massaging your shoulders, the back of your head. Might be nice to pull your hair. Checking in with your shoulders, locking your fingers behind your back, knuckles toward the sky. Carefully return your hands to your mat. Five more breaths in the standing forward fold. Maybe wrapping your arms around your legs, giving yourself a hug, sending your forehead toward your knees. Full breath in, stand tall, reach your hands over your head, look up. Exhale, hands at your side. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Raise your left foot toward the sky. Connect your knee to your nose. Three times, move with your breath. We'll meet in a high lunge. Left knee stacked over your ankle, hips facing forward. Back heel is raised. Maybe your hands stack one over the other, just over your heart. Connecting to the rhythm of your heartbeat. Sending your attention to your breath. Three more breaths. With an exhale, step at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach your hands above your head, look up. Palms touching, prayer hands land over your third eye. Take one full in and out breath. With an exhale, send your prayer hands just over your mouth. Find one full in and out breath. With an exhale, your hands land over your heart. Full breaths. Inhale, reach your hands over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair pose. Full breaths. Exhale, stand tall, fold forward. Again, we'll be here for about 10 breaths in the standing forward fold. So finding movement that feels right in your body right in this moment.
three more breaths. Inhale, stand tall, reach your hands over your head, find an arch in your back, engage your glutes, exhale, hands at your side. Go ahead and turn on your mat, preparing for a wide leg straddle, moving so that it's comfortable within your hips, toes pointing in. Open your arms wide, your heart is open. And with an exhale, go ahead and fold forward. Hands land on your mat. Maybe walk your hands behind you. Full breaths. Preparing for a twist. Place your left hand directly under your face with an inhale. Send your right hand toward the sky. Look up. Maybe your right hand lands at your back, whatever is comfortable in your shoulder. One more full breath in here. With an exhale, return your right hand down directly under your face. Inhale, twist to the left. Look up. One more full breath in here. With an exhale, return your left hand down. We'll do this twist one more time on each side. So when you're ready, go ahead, twist to the right, look up. Exhale to return your right hand down. Inhale, twist to the left. Full breath in here. Exhale, both hands touching your mat. Preparing for a side squat, go ahead and find a deep bend in your right leg. Left leg is extended. Maybe toes pointing forward for balance. Maybe you bring your hands off of your mat. You might slide a block behind your right heel for support. We'll be here for five breaths before switching to the left side. Cash. Yes? Um, you're not in your camera. I just need to see the pose. Uh-oh. Thanks. Side squat, yep. Can you see me? It's just a one leg squat. So go ahead and bend your left knee your right leg is extended. Here. I'm on my phone today, not my laptop. So your right leg is extended, toes facing forward. Relax your foot on your mat. There you go. Deep breaths. And we'll go ahead and do this again on each side one more time. So to the right side, and maybe take a moment to pause in a standing forward fold with your legs wide. Just notice how your hips feel here. And when you're ready to settle into your side squat, five full breaths. Beautiful. Inhale, rise your hips. Take a moment in a standing forward fold. And with an exhale, settle into another squat. 
left knee bent. Beautiful, inhale, raise your hips. And we'll settle into a goddess squat. So heel toe, your feet together about hips width. And when you're ready to settle into a low squat. Settle into your breath, sending your breath to your hip space. Five breaths here. Two more breaths. With an exhale, come lie on your back, bring your knees into your chest. Maybe wrap your arms around your legs. You might find a rocking motion back and forth or side to side. And we'll find stillness in a constructive rest pose. So both feet flat on your mat, knees bent. Your feet are as wide as your mat and let your knees meet in the center. You see what I'm doing? Okay. Decide where you want your hands. We'll be here for about 10 breaths. Five more breaths here. Beginning to windshield viper your knees from left to right. We'll settle into a cobbler pose. So the soles of your feet touching, knees drift to the side. You might place blocks or pillows under your thighs for support. Take some time to tuck your shoulders under, open your heart toward the sky. Find some length in your neck. We'll spend another five breaths here. Beginning to deepen your breath, inhale your knees to your chest. Wrap your fingers around your right knee, extend your left leg Allow your leg to hover a few inches from your mat. Maybe find some movement in your right leg. 
Just exploring what the right side of your hips feel like this morning. Finding stillness for the next five breaths. Beginning to deepen your breath as you switch legs, extend your right leg, allow that to hover. Wrap your fingers around your left knee again. Find some movement in, your, in the left side. Just notice how the left side of your hips feel this morning. Finding stillness for the next five breaths. And we'll meet in a happy baby. So grab your feet from the pinky toe edge, draw your knees down, find some movement. You'll be rocking side to side, maybe straightening one or both of your legs. And we'll be here for 10 breaths. Full breaths as you bring your knees into your chest. Connect your forehead to your knees and with an exhale, find a full body stretch. Extend your arms over your head, your legs, point your toes, lock your fingers and flip your palm. With an inhale, bring your knees to your chest. And go ahead and rock along the length of your spine, landing on your sits bones. We'll meet in a boat pose. So engage your core muscles here. Breathing full breaths. Three more breaths. On that next exhale, go ahead and roll back, knees into your chest, find some movement. Preparing for another boat pose. Five breaths. Exhale, roll onto your back. Last time, boat pose and hang out there as long as you'd like to, maybe just for one breath, maybe for five. And we'll exhale into a starfish, landing on your back, arms and legs open wide. Tuck your shoulders under, open your heart. Find three cleansing breaths in through your nose. Take a moment to pause at the top of your inhale and at the bottom of your exhale.
beginning to deepen your breath. With an inhale, bring both knees into your chest. Go ahead and stack your knees to the right side for a supine twist, arms open wide, turn your gaze past your left shoulder. You might eagle wrap your left leg outside of your right leg for these next five breaths. Beginning to deepen your breath as you undo this twist. Inhale your knees to your chest. Find some movement here if you'd like, or go ahead and jump right into a twist to the left side of your mat. Turn your gaze past your right shoulder. You might eagle wrap your right leg outside of your left leg for these next five breaths. Beginning to deepen your breath as you undo this twist. Inhale your knees to your chest. And either settle in to uh, your legs up the wall or maybe a shoulder stand, some sort of inversion. Just maybe you're lying on your back with both knees bent. Yogi's choice. As you settle in and find stillness, find some cleansing breaths in through the nose and out of the mouth. We'll be here for a few minutes. Okay, I'll move on to my wall too.
take a moment to just scan the body. Notice if your shoulders are inching their way towards your ears. Exhale to relax your shoulders away, tuck them under. Open your heart, extend your neck. Deep breaths. You might choose to close your practice out in this pose. If you'd like to settle into a Shavasana or a seated meditation to close this morning's practice, take the next three breaths to set yourself up. <laughs> It'll take as much time as you need, really. <laughs> And uh, with this being Valentine's Day and all, I was looking through some of my old notebooks and I came across some notes I took from um, reading All About Love by Bell Hooks. And um, she said some things that are required to nurture love. And I just wanna say this is required to nurture love within ourselves um, and maybe meditating on ways that we give ourselves these these things um, as you close out the practice this morning. Um, care, affection, recognition, respect, commitment, trust, honest and open communication. So these are all things that we can give ourselves as we think about love today. And M. Scott Peck's definition of love. The will to extend oneself for the purpose of nurturing one's own or another's spiritual growth. So one's own starting with pouring care, affection, recognition, respect, commitment, trust, open and honest communication, pouring those things into ourselves first so that we can nurture not only ourselves but others' spiritual growth.
beginning to breathe deep. Bring your prayer hands just over your heart. Just breathing full breaths, shoulders relaxed away from your ears, head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. Preparing to close out this morning's practice with the sound of one ohm. Cleansing breaths in through the nose and out of your mouth. Full breath in. Uh, Placing your prayer hands just over your third eye, taking a bow in gratitude, in love, in respect, in honor for yourself this morning. Thank you.